speech on sarojini naidu sarojini naidu speech for students and children in english to quench my longing i bent my low me low by the streams of the spirits of peace that flow in that magical wood in the land of sleep with these phrases from the nightingale of india i would like to start my speech on sarojini naidu Sarojini Naidu was born in 13th Feb 1879. She was an Indian political activist and poet. She was an essential figure in the struggle for freedom from colonial rule. She has also been actively involved in civil rights and women's emancipation. Sarojini was born to a Bengali family in Hyderabad. Her father was Agronath Chattopadhyay who was the principal of Nizam's college in Hyderabad. Her mother Parada Sundari Devi Chattopadhyay was a poet and used to write poetry in Bengali. She was the eldest of all eight siblings. Her family was well regarded in Hyderabad. Sarojini Naidu passes her matriculation from the university of madras and then took a four year break from her studies later she was offered to study in england first at king's college london and later at girton college cambridge she married pedipati gobind rajalu naidu at the age of 19 It was an interstate marriage approved by both families as Sarojini was from Bengal and Padipati was from Andhra Pradesh. Sarojini was into writing since the age of 12. She wrote a play Maher Munir which impressed the Nizam of Hyderabad. In 1905 her first collection of poems was published which is named The Golden Threshold. The Bird of Times is another poetry collection that was published in 1912. For her work in poetry, she was given the title of the Nightingale. Sarojini joined the Indian Independence Movement in 1905. Soon, she met other leaders like Krishna Gokhale, Rabindranath Tagore, and Mahatma Gandhi. and was inspired by their work and determination she joined the movement in the wake of the partition of bengal she traveled to different parts of india to make people aware of nationalism and social welfare by delivering speeches between 1915 to 1918 later in 1917 she was also accompanied by her colleague Annie Besant She also helped to establish the Women's Indian Association in 1970 In 1925 she also presided over the annual session of the Indian National Congress in Kanpur Naidu also presided over the East African Indian Congress 1929 session in South Africa She was the one who got arrested with other Congress leaders for participating in the Salt March. She headed the Civil Disobedience and Quit India movement as a leader from the front. She also spent around 21 months in jail due to repetitive arrest by the Britishers. After the independence of India, she was appointed as governor of uttar pradesh and she served the position till his death in march 1949 naidu died of a cardiac arrest in lucknow at the age of 70 she was a lady full of energy intellectual sweet courageous and with a charming personality she was a great leader as well as a speaker with humor and emotions She was a leading face of the freedom fighters. She will always be remembered in history 
for her great doing for India. Thank you.